Hi, how's it going? Today I'm gonna talk about the common mistakes people commit playing Bossa Nova uh, that I found on the internet. So I've seen a lot of videos of people playing the songs by Antonio Carlos Rubin and other Brazilian songs and I, I'm gonna talk uh, and comment about the, these kinds of mistakes. Uh, and these mistakes are not about harmony, about the musical rules, generic rules, but it's uh, mistakes about accent. They, when, when we play the Brazilian music at the piano, we are trying to create the environment of Brazilian music that has some, the, the acoustic guitar, uh, the drums, the bass, and when we play, when we play with a good accent, we uh, we activate the memories in Brazilian uh, in Brazilian people or uh, whatever place the people is from. Uh, we activate the memories of the instruments. So you you are playing with a good reference. But sometimes if you don't understand this reference, you're gonna play changing details that won't make this connection. In, in the the brains of or your audience. So let's talk a little about and let me show you some mistakes. Uh, the most common I've seen uh, in piano players. Uh, I've talked in in another in another lives or quick tips, but it's I think that it's never a problem to reinforce it. It's the first the direction of the bass. So. People often, for example, so the bass, uh, if you are trying to, uh, if you are imitating the bass, the, I think the most, uh, what's gonna sound more Brazilian, it's due the motion going uh, down and not up, all right? This is the most basic bass, the bass where we play just the beats. We can do some, sometimes the ascending movement, movement, but it's just to connect some different chords. But I think uh, you have to think, oh, uh, the most of times you have to sound going down, all right? If you have a little more samba feel, it's good to, to also make a little a bit of accent on the second beat. Note that I'm playing the first beat, pa, boom, pa, boom. so you're gonna feel it, it, it's a little, a little bit stronger. Right, so this is the most common mistake, and people usually just doesn't do with accent. Right, this is the first one. There is a very common variation. Second mistake, I'm, I'm gonna talk about. There is a very common uh, variation that people uses. Uh, uh, This is very common when playing Brazilian music, and it's this sounds like a uh, we we can say a, a kind of Japanese we call Japanese bossa nova, and why Japanese bossa nova? Uh, because the uh, the arranger keyboards uh, when when we hear the bossa nova played by this this arranger keyboards, they often the, the old, I don't know, the I think the actual are made by Brazilian musicians, so you're gonna hear another bass line. But they come do this. So, we, we don't think the bass like this, we, we think I 
commit this mistake. So pa 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 pa. I'm sorry, I I did not play very well the the right hand, but pa pa pa. Or we have some variation that we use a a higher note to do to do this. beat all right so uh, it's very different from this very different from this that is another one that we think um, a lot of people uh, um, a lot of people as uh, I think Brazilian is this I don't know, I, I think there is something Afro-Cuban that has this sound, but we don't, don't have any style, uh, any style uh, that does this kind of bass line. We also call Latin music, but I don't know the ori origin. I prefer don't talk uh, what I think, uh, where it's from, but it's a generic way of playing uh, Latin rhythm. All right. Uh, th there was one interesting uh, story I've lived in when I was in Italia, that people uh, often uh, often say to me, trying to say in Portuguese the word uh, tran tranqui tranquilo. They are ah, tranquilo. Uh, they they often used this word and I, I, I asked them but is this word in Italian is, is this word uh, has a no no in Italian it's tranquilo all right uh, tranquilo is Portuguese and tranquilo is not Portuguese we say in Portuguese tranquilo the same word as in, in, Ita in Italian but they thought we were doing something, we, we have this Spanish pronounce. So, uh, as the same thing happens, this style... Uh, okay, I, I don't know if that exists in, in Cuba, for example. And in Brazil, it doesn't exist, it's not a kind of bossa nova, right? Um, I, I've heard also one kind of bossa nova like that, with this bass line. And this in this case it sounds a little bit like a habanera or habanera I don't know how you, how you think but it's a, a, a afro style uh, or a style that that has its and and it's not also bossa nova all right um, so, um, this kind of pat pattern we can use in some styles that have origin in the habanera or habanera. Uh, for example, the mashishi. Uh, I think mainly the mashishi we can use this kinds of line, alright? But in bossa nova doesn't have relation with the mashishi, so we don't use it. Avoid this this the sound that you're gonna sound out of Brazilian uh, out of the the Brazilian bossa nova, right? What else more? What what I've seen? Uh, I have I have seen one variation that uh, for bossa nova. That's the the musician. Beat number two, uh, he did the the eighth eighth note, and this we can find in samba in faster uh, in faster tempos for and in the so you 
can find this in Samba, but not in Bossa Nova, that's slower. Alright, so this is not a Brazilian, uh, Brazilian kind of uh, groove on the bass. Most mistakes, I think, are on the on the thoughts of the bass. They sound out of the, the Brazilian language. All right. Uh, what else more? Um, I've talked about the bass. Ah, there is one interesting thing that I, I've seen in one pianist that uh, he played the bass in the same uh, intensity as the right hand. kind of samba and we have to when we are playing uh, the bass it's, it has to be subtle if, if not it loses the swing so don't think the two beats are identical also I was reminded one. This is a uh, this this groove of face with chromatic approach, uh, approach uh, is uh, is on the the recording of the song Triste with in the recording of the album Elisiton. Um, what else more? Uh, some patterns of bossa nova also. I have to research a little bit more, but they are. Uh, a little bit inverted, but I don't. I can't remember uh, by heart any of these. I think the bass ones are the most, and nothing wrong. Uh, uh, like I've told you, it's not a problem of sounding uh, sounding wrong because inside the harmony it's sounding right. But it sounds like you don't have the knowledge of the style. It sounds that uh, it's like the person uh, that's pronouncing some word wrongly all the time. So yeah, I I I I think this happens to be with in, in these lives during these lives because it's not my English is far from be perfect. But I'm doing just these lives because I I. I think there's that is missing this kind of subject thing on the internet but uh, when you play something I think you want to to express that language in a, in a good way you have to you want to have this communication you want to to understand that environment that that sounds came from so uh, so that's why I think it's important when we play Brazilian music um what else more we can we could talk about um i i've seen this uh, pattern of bossa nova also so for example This is come also to take the the um, the rhythmic of the bass and place in a, in the harmonic layer. Uh, if you don't know, I've talk, I talk so much about the, uh, the different layers in in music or in Brazilian music, and each layer has its behavior. So. Uh, the bass has this rhythm, but when you go to the harmony, you have to play the rhythm of the harmony part. That's this. 
the this is the rhythm of this layer so uh, it's import important when you learn some Brazilian pattern to know in what uh, in what layer of the music is it if it all is it's if it's on the the drum layer and the drum layer is divided in in subdivision low high you, you may know this to play in the right place if it's in the bass layer or it's if it's in the harmonic layer, this is very important to make your choice sound in, inside our language, All right? So uh, I think it's that, that's it, and I hope to have helped you. All right? It's uh, the the purpose of this live is not to say uh, it's not to say people are playing wrong and and to create hate between uh, Brazilian music musicians and and the people it's, it's just just to 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 make a knowledge that it's inside of Brazil that people uh, that people usually don't don't put on the internet but it makes the difference it's it gives the swing when you understand something that's inside the language you can identify also hearing and understanding the beautiness of some musicians playing so it's very important to you to to understand this to go deeper on in the in the music that you are hearing so the the purpose is is this all right to make uh to improve the qualities of your what you are you are playing and not to create some some uh, distress or, or some struggle between musicians all right so so that's it I hope I have helped you in your process if you know people that are interested in Brazilian music and likes to play and hear it uh, send this live uh, and and if you have some doubts if you have to, if you wanna show me some of your lines uh, you can send me it will be a pleasure to comment and help you in this process of understanding Brazilian music all right so that that's it uh, thanks for watching and see you every day here with lives talking about the Brazilian accent improvisation bye bye <laughs>